So today I'd like to talk to you about a form of uh, treatment that is used to treat uh, infertile patients and also recurrent miscarriage patients. This ter uh, treatment is known as uh, immune, uh, in lymphocyte immunization therapy, which stands for LIT. Now this therapy, its treatment method is by acquiring the lymphocytes of the partner, which means uh, the lymphocytes of the husband of the miscarriage patient or the infertile patient, and then after doing some ultrafiltration, some processing in the lab, acquiring and separating the white blood cells. Because lymphocytes are actually white blood cells. So by acquiring and isolating the white blood cells of the partner, which is the husband, they will then inject this acquired white blood cell into the bloodstream of the patient. And they believe that uh, this will increase tolerance for the incoming pregnancy and will also increase her chances for a successful pregnancy uh, with no miscarriage uh, that, that might happen during the pregnancy. And they believe this is achieved because uh, the lymphocytes injected into the mother's bloodstream will increase uh, certain antibodies uh, in, the, in the mother's bloodstream, which will protect the uh, growing fetus or embryo from the mother's immune system. So this specific antibody is, is something they call uh, blocking antibodies. So this blocking antibody is, according to them, acts as an immune barrier for the uh, embryo or fetus from protecting it from the immune cells of the mother because at the end of the day, the mother will still see the embryo as a foreign material or an antigen which will trigger an immune response. So they believe that by putting these uh, lymphocytes into the mother's bloodstream, it will increase uh, these specific antibodies. The higher they are, the more they are, the higher the likeliness of a successful pregnancy. Well, uh, to break it to you, this treatment has been banned since uh, 2002 in the United States by the FDA and has been banned for over a decade. And the reasons why it is banned is because it shows very inconsistent uh, results and also success rates. Actually, according to the patterns of Dr. Chen Fung Lin, he, he has discovered that uh, the, there is an immune barrier, but it is not the antibodies that this LIT treatment is talking about. The immune barrier is actually a physical component that protects the placenta and the embryo from the immune system. So because of their lack of research and knowledge in this part, uh, they do not know that it's actually uh, causing more harm than good. Lit will actually cause more harm to the patient by actually inducing autoimmune disease. And also potentially it might uh, increase the likeliness of infection of infectious disease because of the transfer of these uh, lymphocytes. And also furthermore, it will increase the chance of a future miscarriage by a lot. Because uh, according to these patents who have, which have been patented in the United States and Europe and China and over 30 other countries and, and uh, proved and awarded by several scientists all over the world, by putting foreign tissue into the mother's blood stem, uh, bloodstream, especially the tissues of the father, you will actually increase the specific antibodies known as anti-embryonic antibodies. These antibodies are actually have been already determined to exist and they are the ones that are attacking this uh, immune barrier. So by introducing uh, lymphocytes into the mother's bloodstream, you only increase the levels of anti-embryonic antibodies. So it is very likely that she will go into a miscarriage in her next pregnancy. So this treatment is not, not only is it ineffective, it will give her more harm because of the autoimmune disease, and it cannot even secure a, a healthy pregnancy. So, if you'd like to read the full article, uh, there's a link to it in the description box below. But at the end of the day, lit has been banned for a reason and should not be uh, used to treat patients who are suffering infertility or recurrent miscarriage. But uh, in st till this day, it is still being widely practiced outside the United States, and many patients are still going for this treatment blindly. So I hope this video can give you some form of awareness and understanding of this topic. Thank you.